Lofton now with the ball back outside to Streeter. Streeter from the right wing, and she gives that one up. The steal goes to the first year Rainey, and Rainey will outrun everybody. To his her left, Hopkins now to Rainey. Rainey now at the top of the arc to the left, kicks to Glarenick outside for three, and she's got that one ready to go. Shide to Rainey. Shide screens for Rainey, who finds Pulliam, who will pull from three, knocks it down, Lindsey Pulliam. Kayla Rainey now has it. She's looking for her first collegiate bucket. Rainey drives left, passes it into the corner. Hartman for three. Bang! That is Leah Hartman's first career three-pointer in a Northwestern uniform. So many talented guards on this roster. Rainey to Burton from the wing. Bottom! Veronica Burton for three. Rainey cross court to Hartman. Hartman. To Rainey, gonna have to pull. And it's good. Kayla Rainey with a smile. Lernick's able to tap it away, but right back to BC. They have eight to shoot. Bolden Morris through a couple. Rainey comes up with the steal and gets it to Galernick, who's wide open. And she lays it up and in. Bertie Galernick gives Northwestern a 34-30 lead. Just can't get the bounce. It seems like tonight, Northwestern's bounce is just not going their way. Kayla Rainey drives in, finds Abby Wolf on the baseline. Easy layup, nobody there. He's able to break the ice there. Nine seconds left in the quarter. Rainey pass inside the court. And Shaw goes up with the easy layup. Two seconds and one. The horn will sound. Ben, you touched on in that first half. Lauren Satterwhite able to take it away as the shot clock was expiring anyway. Kayla Rainey running fast break the other way. Can't get the layup to go. Here in this one inside the Breslin. Feed immediately down low to... Sydney Dodd, no good, make that 22 turnovers on the night for Michigan State. Immediate drive and the finish. Welcome onto the floor, Kayla Rainey. Michigan State would have had that type of attacking attitude from the beginning. I'm not saying the result would be different, but it would look a lot better on paper. Satterwhite for the Cats. Rebounded inside and finished by Kayla Rainey. season at Northwestern. I know this university will miss him considerably. And, and like I said, Joe McEwen was actually one of his first hires. Jim Phillips got the AD job in March. Uh, Brooke Peichel, uh, a signature sign of Northwestern's at the game, uh, has been locked up. Rossini grabs the steal, but Kayla Rainey, good speed on defense to get it back. You should write off the 10 players on the floor as players that won't really play so much in the year. Rainey knifing through the defense, yes! The bench hyped up yet again. Uh, as we saw right there, Kayla Rainey, oh my. Rainey ahead of the pack, easiest lap of her life. Jackie Styles flavor. Nearly 30 points a game, come on. Less than two to play, here's a steal coast to coast. Got to have that good chemistry, right, with that other post player to have a successful high-low combo. You know, despite having uh, maybe a shallow post presence, they've, they've been able to fill in today, and, and they're the great speed by Kayla. This is what you do if you play defense for Northwestern. Yeah, they really jump those passing lanes, just pesky guards, and the finish. So great job by Rainey there. Two to shoot. Here's Rainey again, and just beat the shot clock with that jumper. Three and a half seconds here to play with. Here's Rainey for Northwestern. Takes it all the way in and gets the home court roll. And what a game this has been. Rainey splitting the defense. Nice finish down low there for the sophomore to tie this ball game up headed into the half. Yeah, tied at th Rebound burdened. Outlet pass to Hartman. And Rainey, I should say, counts in the foul. Kayla Rainey, scoop and score. Good tough rebound by Shaw right there. She's okay on the other end. Nice pass from Rainey inside. What a find for Sydney Wood. And it's a timeout for Nancy Faye. Sydney Wood, look at that pass. Threatening to get through the Illinois defense for the cutting Wood. Nice finish for the junior from only Maryland. We'll take a quick break here. 5.37 to go in the first half. Northwestern still suffocating Illinois. 
And again, the late shot clock situation. Northwestern has completely locked down Illinois in and outside. And there's the block of the contested two-point jumper. So once again, those late shot clock situations not working. And there's the speed of Kayla Rainey. Morris already with two points so far to Rainey. And that first step is too quick for Nebraska. She's got her first points of the game. It's 23-9. We're seeing now Northwestern really experimenting with the lineups. A lot of players we haven't seen so far in the game. Big shot from Kayla Rainey falls. Northwestern bench goes absolutely crazy. It's great for her, great for the Gauchos, and good points. Wood kicks it out to Rainey. Right corner three. She hits. Order. And the Gauchos have done the same thing. All of their players available today have touched the court. Rainey goes up and in. Right hand layup. It's good. Northwestern now hits 70 points in the game. And the Gauchos turn it over. Picked up by Rainey. Rainey to Hartman. Hartman right handed lay. It's good. You can hear the crowd cheering for her as she gets her first point. Here's Hilliard as the Let's Go Cats chance begin. From the Northwestern student section and Rainey picks her pocket. Tough board by Shaw, and she got it free to Rainey. Great pass up ahead to Daly, and she finishes, plus the foul. What a combination for Northwestern right there. That entire sequence started with Courtney Shaw's effort on the glass. To Burton, it needs to come now. And now Kayla Rainey to Kaylee Walsh, who takes the three and hits from the corner. Rainey to her right hand over to Leah Hartman. Hartman back over to Burton at the top of the key. She'll go to her left, to the corner. Rainey wide open for three. Can she get it? She can! Opens up the second half with a bang. Over to Rainey. Rainey taking her time, trying to find an open Northwestern Wildcat. Rainey another three high arcing shot. It's good. Two for two for Kayla Rainey, giving Northwestern the offense they needed. Where will the offense come from with Veronica Burton out? Hartman contested three, that goes! Leia Hartman is scorching from the outside, and she's got her second three of the game. This is her off to Rainey, right past her. Shaw active hands in the passing lane and forces the turnover. Jason Clinton's been throwing that pass all day, Shaw read it, and now Rainey coast to coast, and a big time finish from the junior. And now Burton has set it up on the right wing, swings it back to Mott. Rainey face up three, gets it! Kayla Rainey! When that can't happen defensively for Northwestern, Clark wide open down there. Those are shots she makes like layups. Now from the other baseline, double figures already for Melanie Daly. Here's a three off the front end into the hands of Warnock. As we hear Ohio State holds possession after the Northwestern final timeout, quick steal from Kayla Rainey and gets the layup. 14 points is the lead now for Ohio State. Bounces out, but a big rebound from Jillian Brown. Right underneath, kicks out to Rainey for three. Got it! With 39.3 to go in this contest. One more look at that three-pointer. To get some space and get the bucket, she's got 16. Veronica Burton gets it over to Rainey. To the corner. Hartman for three. That's good. Here's Rainey. Rainey out on top to Walsh. She fires a three. That's no good. Long rebound. They're going to get another one. They throw it inside, and their layup is good. Down the lane, though. Bounce pass to uh, Ricky Waltman for an easy two. Northwestern, a 17-10 edge on the boards. Here's another long two-pointer by Rainey. Rainey, with her foot on the line, hits the long two. The shot clock confuses people because it looks like there's 31 on the shot clock. It's actually 3.1. Here's Walsh with a short jumper. Good. Boy, they ran her off the screen. She got an easy bucket on the right side. It's a foul called on Smith, but led to uh, Scalia getting a wide open three. Now Rainey the other way launches a three. This one up and good. Rainey can go coast to coast. She's got the most speed on the floor. And here she goes all the way through. Rainey scores at the buzzer. The electrifying Kayla Rainey does it again. Verajao hounded, turns it over. Burton with a steal, her first for the Big Ten's leader and the NCAA's leader. Rainey in transition, goes around and scores. And that's seven assists. Can they get a stop and a bucket here to close out the third quarter? That's all you need. That is all you need. Defense to offense, try to. Towards her left, crossing up. Here's Brown for three as the shot clock winds to a close and she banks it in. 
Dillian Brown ends the drought. It gives Northwestern the lead right back. Until the two minute mark left, it was eight minutes into the first quarter before they got their second bucket. Nice slip inside at Courtney Shaw gets Northwestern on the ledger first. Out in transition, they have a three on two if they want it. Brown up with the left, no good. Another offensive rebound for Shaw, and they reload, and the three is up and good for Kayla Rainey. Walsh, the dribble handoff to Sidney Wood. Knifing through the lane, kicks it out to Rainey from the right corner. Huge three, the lead is back to 12. It's only a matter of time before she gets her first block of the day and the last shot made of this half. Offensive rebound to Shaw, one of the best in the Big Ten, was third last year. Ten rebounds per game, they swing it to Jillian Brown, back-to-back -back threes. KK Bransford averaging about 18 minutes per contest this year. And she has a big upside as well. I mean, very versatile, especially in the defensive end. The number 29 ranked player in her graduating class actually played high school basketball with Iowa's Gabby Marshall in Cincinnati, Ohio, as Rainey scores again on the other side. Uh, they, they, they don't necessarily, I mean, obviously after losing Veronica Burton last year, such a big part of that team as what a move by Kayla Rainey finishing through contact. They get the M1-3 to start the quarter, and uh, what a strong take that is from the 5'6 senior. Sydney Wood ready to check in at the next whistle. That's a big screen from Morris. Halo Rainey with another strong drive and another finish. Rebounded by O'Neill, and Purple Eagles will look to get on the board. Trying to dart between. That's three possessions, three turnovers now as Wood corrals. Rainey up ahead for Shaw, puts it up and in. Rebounded by Shaw. Good defensive possession that time for the Wildcats as Rainey comes up quickly. Down low for a wide open Shaw. Right-handed layup is good. And that's going to draw a timeout from Jada Pierce. Northwestern scoreless over the last 254, as this should change as Wood gets a layup and hits. Wildcats really going to have to work to push in transition today. Sometimes they struggle to get started on offense, but. The give a go goes. Mott with the first basket. 19 on the shot clock. Now inside. Kick out to Walsh. This is a three, and it will fall. Johnston has her pocket picked. Here comes Rainey. The feed. It goes. And we see a slew of substitutions coming in for the Wildcats. The cross court pass. Weaver from the corner. Oh, she drills it. Haley Weaver. Calling for the screen. We'll kick it to the corner. Kayla Rainey gets it to fall as the shot clock expires. <laughs> Northwestern now bringing two, fender, two defenders on to the other half of the court. Good hands from Rainey. Gets the steal. Leaves it off to Daly, and she gets it to go. Good defense there from Kayla Rainey. Jillian Brown behind the back. Nice feed to Kayla Rainey in the corner. She'll fire away. Big hit for Kayla Rainey from the corner. A team that wants to move, wants to get into their offense quickly. Round into Ma. Rainey will fire. It hits the triple. Now Anna Morris comes to the table as Wood loses Rogers on the back cut. Gorgeous move from Sydney Wood. Unsung hero award. She's a key scorer and a big time scorer when she takes those makeable shots. Mott on the back end again. Northwestern right now. This is the first ever meeting between these two programs. Never met before. Northwestern on the attack. Paige Mott lays it in from the assist from Kayla Rainey. Will retain possession here. Inbound from Rainey. Tried to go inside deep to Wood, who finds a little crease. So Sydney Wood has it, gives it over to Weaver near the top of the key, back over to Rainey. Looking down low for Walsh, and they finally get her a little more active there. Beautiful pass from Rainey. Rainey, good feed inside the shot, and that ends a near four-minute scoring drop for Northwestern. Being able to do that, and even before Green went down, Coach McGuff talked about what, what Walker could bring to this team. Finally, a three goes for Northwestern, previously one for ten. We would see her again at some point this year. 
As Walsh tries a three and puts it down. Finally, a triple goes. Walsh looking to set a screen for Rainey. Now it's Mott. Rainey takes the screen. She's driving. Goes up. Fancy finish from Kayla Rainey. Making a hard impact on the floor as well right there. Uh, takes a tumble, trying to take a charge. Instead called for the blocking foul. Kayla Rainey bringing the ball up. Northwestern, not a team known for their three-point shooting consistency. Sydney Wood with a nice backdoor cut and a layup. Goodchild is quite the three-point shooter herself. She takes every opportunity that finds her. Brown, nice move, kicks it out to Rainey. Rainey going to work on Hageman, and she finishes over the top of Julia Aralt. Double-double recently against Ohio State, but her presence always felt for the Wildcats. Kayla Rainey drains the three. Yeah. To battle here on the road. Sydney Wood, again, doing it all. The assist to Rainey up and in, and she shot that with confidence. Puts up a three, and Northwestern pushing Rainey. Just going downhill. Bryant may not have been set yet. That left leg moving. Yes. And sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, it's always hard because you just get so excited. You're like, I got a little on me. I need to go up strong and I just don't miss this layup. And then you get called for the offensive foul. And it's a tough one. She did. And had what we would call a quiet night, but still had 15 points. <laughs> Kayla Rainey gets that to fall. Not known for scoring, but inside, up. almost poked away by Garzone. Rainey for three. Got it. Northwestern had a really tough non-con schedule, facing off against Oregon, Notre Dame, DePaul, Duke. Courtney Shaw and one opportunity. To get that tough schedule when it can teach you something about yourself. Northwestern absorbed some really tough losses. Those Oregon, Notre Dame, and Duke games all went extremely poorly. McWilliams did have a career high 10 in her last game against Indiana. 72 to 50 win for the Hoosiers. Takes it inside, misses. Another offensive rebound by Rainey. Pops the three, there it is. Long three is good from Walls. Definitely on off ball screens that gets a post player coming on the block. That really is a weakness for Northwestern. Long jumper, McWilliams scores. Dribble drive from McWilliams. Double team now tries to step through. Clark can't quite get the steal. Out to Rainey. Lobs it up there off the glass and scores. As Harper gives Mott space to shoot. Kicked out to Rainey for three. Good. Trying to get the Wildcats to add to their 14 turnovers. As this ball finds Kayla Rainey, Rainey gets one to go. For the Wildcats, playing bigger in the paint. Jill Brown finds Kayla Rainey, she'll go for one. Yes, ma'am, Kayla Rainey. To get the Boilermakers going, she only had two points in the first half. And a steal from Kayla Rainey. It's Northwestern opportunity to go quickly on the transition. Loud diving in. Finds Terry, guarded by Sydney Wood. Does just enough to send that shot off target. Kayla Rainey driving on Abby Ellis. Rainey in for Mott. She's been a rebounding machine recently. And the Wildcats force another turnover, and they're off running. That's a great sign for Ohio State when Rebecca Mikolashikova is on, she is on, and that really starts the fire for this team. Nice easy two as Kayla Rainey drives the lane. Illinois as a team, second in rebounding in the Big Ten, third in offensive rebounding as there's the inlet to the post. Mott flings it up and in. McKenzie one of three, averaging more than 15 a game as Sydney Wood goes all the way cross court for Rainey. Her far corner three is good. Four points. Kayla Rainey with this three to lead Northwestern. And we got ourselves a good game at the end of one quarter here on Big Ten Plus. It's a team in the Cougars. They've missed seemingly everybody top to bottom on the roster at some point during the year to injury. They don't have much depth right now. Great inbounds play as Lau is on the board again. Her second bucket, she's got a game high four. And a chance potentially to cut this to a one possession game. Late here in the first half, but a turnover. Kayla Rainey going the other way. 
All the way in, coast to coast with the left hand. Second on the team in steals. She's had 32 on the year. Make that 33. Look at her just having some fun running down. Putting up an easy bucket for the Cats. Extend this lead. Snapping this eight-game losing streak, kind of getting the monkey off the back. Yeah, this cushion of a lead is also giving the starters for Northwestern. And Wisconsin going back to man after that one possession of 2-3. Walsh with a drop step. Up and good for two. Basket good by Jasmine McWilliams. Her first points of the game. And there's that Northwestern pressure once again. Transition opportunity converted. High pick and roll. Nice crossover there and the dump down to Mott. Out Thompson, open three-pointer, off. Rebound, Kapanis gets it off at the rebound for the Lady Lions, and they'll be able to slow down and set up. A turnover right away. Who's really coming into her own. I spoke with head coach Carolyn Keeker specifically about what has been different about Tanaya Thompson here in the last three games, and she said she's playing with much more confidence. You may lose your post players, or you didn't quite look at the numbers on that jersey knowing that she'll be able to step out. Kayla Rainey with a good look from three, an immediate answer for the first three points for the Purple. Rainey with the steal on the other end. Showing her importance, their last game she fouled out. Here's Brown from deep. Mott had three early on, but has yet to pick up another one. The three ball goes for Kayla Rainey. Western right now, ball movement here. Kayla Rainey gets her feet set. She got Walsh inside. There's the first two of the game. Northwestern's myth four straight field goal attempts. But they can do things like that on the defensive end. Rainey with the steal. Going to be operating with the ball at the logo. Kayla Rainey sends up a mid-range jumper and good from just inside the arc. Purdue flipping the script. And speaking of flips, a nice little turn there on the bucket from Sydney Wood. Purdue now having trouble getting the inbound. Jillian Brown now gets it over to Kayla Rainey, taking it in Euro step shot up and good and one opportunity here for Kayla Rainey. Her high IQ and how she's just really perfected that mid range jumper. You saw her knock it down there. Northwestern, meanwhile, not having the same issues from distance. And it has been a game of post play so far. Both teams just going at it. A wide open look, Jillian Brown. The free throws have helped Rutgers get this back to a one-point game. But again, so have Northwestern's turnovers. And that's a Rutgers one as Carter fell down. Break there, Minnesota only made one of two, and now Northwestern on the other end. It's Kayla Rainey with some crazy moves. Feeds McWilliams, and that's a bucket. What an assist from Kayla Rainey. You see it on her face. She can't help but smile. Here. You're going to get another look at it. She first fakes out, drives to the basket, no look pass to McWilliams. Northwestern still working around the perimeter, 12 on the shot clock. Taylor Rainey thinks about the three, goes for it, and she nails it. McWilliams. Taylor Rainey thought about a three then herself, and she nailed it. Caroline Lau working around Braun. Good screen from Walsh. Lau kicks it to Rainey for three, and she's got it. The Northwestern bench loves that one pair. Badgers using their bench. Sarah Stapleton, a little used senior, now enters as her eighth game play in the season. Rainey drives and scores. Watch number 41 on your screen to see how this happened. And Don't see the injury. This, this might be the angle underneath. Schrammick offline. Rainey flies in for a run, for a rebound. Cats are running and they're on a run. This is a 9 1 run and Rainey may not be done. It said without playing on the defensive side of the ball, Rainey stays aggressive, gets the rebound, and then just a little loop de loop at the amusement park for the finish. Rainey getting things going for the Cats. Look at that, absorbing some contact too. Why not? coming in trying to learn how to play with each other it just takes some time to learn that chemistry what a cut by Sydney Wood to the basket Wood with her first points of the game score in that mid-range Northwestern is giving Rutgers way too much space on that drive Carter hasn't missed yet three for three Walsh is hitting the threes her third of the day 
Hartman will fire again from deep and hit it.